Welcome to Defenders Voice. I'm Dr. Paul. Thank you for joining us today. Our Q&A program is all about answering your questions based on the word of God and politically incorrect truth. We support this ministry by visiting our website www.drpaul.org. Let us see today's question. SBC report informed the accusations against Johnny Hunt and his friendship with Ravi Zacharias how should we respond to this news so yesterday guidepost solutions released a report on the southern baptist convention and the abuse of its pastors not long ago they also released a report on rgim and how it handled allegations against ravi zacharias It says that the Southern Baptist Convention had a secret list of more than 700 pastors but rather than taking action on these pastors and church officials the SBC leaders looked the other way they worried more about legal battles and bad reputation than protecting its members from abuses they were angry at visible blowers They used the age-old tactic blame satan. They said this is satan's scheme to completely distract us from evangelism. This is satan working to bring shame to our denomination. They also kept quiet because of legal liability. 700 pastors abusing people. It is sickening and shocking. and this is the largest invis- investigation in sbc history we don't expect abuse in the church but this is happening more pre- frequently across the denominations the executive committee of sbc maligned the people who wanted to do something about abuse the report says some sbc pastors are abusing and assaulting women regularly without any action taken against them guide post investigation also revealed that johnny hunt was accused of sexual misconduct johnny hunt was the president of the denomination from 2008 to 2010 reportedly he had sexually assaulted the wife of a pastor in 2010 the report described the pastor and his wife as credible parts of their accounts were corroborated by other credible witnesses christianity today magazine reports that johnny hunt was friends with ravi zacharias and was a special guest at the 2009 grand opening of the spa where zacharias abused massage therapists now that explains why johnny hunt did not stop ravi from opening is abuse parlors and ravi invited me to the opening of this parlors i would have warned him ravi what in the world are you doing massage parlors are not an appropriate business for christian leaders stop it but johnny hunt did not do that it looks like johnny and ravi liked each other and felt like they are the birds of the same flock reportedly johnny hunt told his victims you must keep this secret don't tell anyone that would negatively impact 40000 churches i represent remember ravi used the same tactic reportedly he told the woman keep this secret with you if you make this public the souls of millions of people would be in jeopardy folks this is nothing but spiritual abuse they were using god's holy name in vain to cover up their sins now how can we prevent this from happening guide post solution it gave some recommendations create an online database of abuses offer compensation for survivors limit non disclosure agreements and establish a new entity dedicated to responding to abuse now 
I would add a biblical approach to this problem. Churches should exercise more independence. Every church should be independent enough to discipline its members, leaders and pastors. If you complain about someone, we often hear the reply. This is not under the local church. This should go to our headquarters. This should go to the president of the denomination. Sadly, the Protestant denominations have become like Catholic church. In Catholic church, they say, this is under Pope's authority. This is under Vatican's authority. Many Protestant denominations just replicated the Catholic model. Thousands of churches controlled by a central body with a Protestant Pope-like figure. Now that is not biblical. While we should have fellowship with like-minded churches and like-minded Christians as a local church, we should have enough power, enough accountability and enough authority to take actions against uh, people who are abusing other individuals. Protest Protestant spirit is that we look at pastors like any other believer. We don't elevate them above other believers and call them father, father. We don't confess our sins to pastors for their mediation to Lord Jesus Christ. We should look at our pastors as individuals with like passions and frailties, but we should not elevate them above others like celebrities who cannot sin. Read Matthew chapter 23. Lord Jesus clearly told, Do not call anyone on earth Father, for you have one Father and He is in heaven. Do not be called leaders, for only one is your leader, the Christ. So Jesus did not elevate any human being because He knew they would be fallible. Pastors and church leaders can commit sins and every church should have a local body to bring them to accountability. Now the SBC leaders blamed the devil. We should not blame the devil for things like this. Lord Jesus clearly warned us there will be wolves among the sheep. Like the, while the devil may tempt us to commit a sin, it is our decision that determines our behavior and it is and its outcomes. In Acts chapter 5, we read about Ananias and Sapphira. They were tempted by Satan to commit sin, but God held them accountable for their sin. In Matthew chapter 16, Satan inspired Peter to obstruct Jesus. Jesus immediately rebuked Peter, Get behind me, Satan! So blaming Satan does not absolve our own culpability in the sins we commit. So we should stop this cheap tactic and take full responsibility. Also, local police should be involved. An abuser can manage a church leader or denominational leader, but often he or she cannot manage the local police. Also follow Mike Pence's role, former U.S. Vice President Mike Pence, he always goes as a group to meet people. So if you go as a group, it would be hard to blame you for any abuse. Okay, folks, those are my thoughts on this uh, question. So please post your comments, like this video, and subscribe to our channel and get notified about every episode we are making. Thank you. Have a nice evening. God bless you.